Hey, hey, everybody. Um, there's a lot of people that don't know that are still new to Run 8 and how to uh, compile uh, a train. Or in this case, we're going to talk about locals. But um, it pretty much could be said that uh, you could do it either way. For I mean, for either one. I hope the music on my TV going to my amp is not uh, disturbing, but it helps me sometimes to think. I might turn it down just a little bit. I'm listening to uh, a group. Uh, anyway, so first thing is you want to have, and right now I'm over on uh, Waycross um, on the computer. I'm not going. To, I'm not playing on the server right now. I mean, um, not doing this on server. I'm not filming on the server. Um, you're going to want to have your list. Now, you can press uh, left control and the L button. Industry cards, you click here. You can select on whatever industry that there may be. Or you can go to industry configuration. And over here, your local freight symbol, it'll give you all the ones that you want. The best bet... Um, that I have a website and you can get information um, from different places online. I cannot any longer uh, share my Google spreadsheets. I'm sorry, something was brought to my attention and I'm glad because I could have found myself in some hot water but the whole point was that uh, the staff over there uh, said that, you know it's all available over there free of charge they'd all they ask is that you just uh, uh, register with their server you can get all this information although mine has been added to and expounded upon I gotta turn this down a little bit Marie Franz gosh she is so hot anyway um so I can no longer share any of my data sheets because it may contain information some do contain information from a variety of places including over at the depot so I can no longer share that um there's other data sheets that I have that I cannot remember where I got the information from so in order to protect myself uh, I'm not sharing I cannot share that anymore at least in this point until I find or remember where I got some of the information from, like my DPUs. Um, having said that, if you want to, just go on over to the depot. Um, and you can get that information from them or somewhere else. Let me see if I can pull it up here on my other monitor real quick. Uh, the depot, run a community. Let's go to home. Nope, I can't go there because it has passwords and information. But anyway, go to the depotserver.com. That's one word, the depotserver.com. And uh, just register. And over there, they have a tab called Reference and uh, Destination Tags. It'll come up and it'll show you. As for me, I cannot share this. But what to do? Left Control F1. This brings up all your information. Okay, what cards you have. Um, starting out with Amtrak. Let's just look here real quickly. Anything that is grayed out like this means that you do not have the texture to that. You can resident world, but it's going to look like. Let's just res that, hit escape to, to apply it. And now we're just going to kind of zoom in. So any touch that you don't have is just going to look like this the car will still be there the car will operate um as it's supposed to provided that it is tagged correctly and uh some of the different servers use different uh tagging and that's within the industries and i'll do that on a different video but uh so if you don't have the texture this is what it looks like left uh whoops right click we'll get rid of it okay so let's come back down here and bliss in your eye spit in your eye um freight locos the same thing these here are all orange that i have all freight cars that's everything other would be things like your mow your shoving platform and your cabooses which we don't use cabooses anymore i suppose some people still do Auto racks, box cars, center beam flat cars, covered hoppers. Again, anything that's grayed out, you do not have. 
uh, the texture for gondolas, open hoppers, um, piggybacks, refrigerator cars, it looks like I only have one, tank cars, and well cars. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we'd have to look at our list and see what it is we're trying to make. In this case, we're going to do one, two, three, two, two industries, but uh, it's going to be like four sections. So the first one I want to do is box cars. So I'm going to look at my list. It tells me I need, uh, yeah, make sure I'm looking at the right one here. Yeah, scroll this up so I don't get it confused. Okay, I need five box cars. Uh, to start out with okay. and these are just they're all these are 50 foot the different types you can mix them up how you want and then you come over here you can do a random reorder or just a random reverse now the thing I want to point out is if you are doing working on several different areas you got center beam flat cars in there and you got stuff that's going to other industries and you're putting it together in order of say in, in my case I do an alphabetical order normally uh, and you click random reorder well you just messed up your whole train so if you're going to do a random reorder here make sure they go strictly to the same place and it's not going to matter otherwise just use random reverse some people have uh, areas on their server where they role play certain things and this is something I recently learned um, you cannot have uh, refrigerator cars with the refrigerator unit uh, next to a tank car. Um, then there was something about you cannot have tank cars that are play carded uh, behind an engine. It, it get with your your server uh, uh, administrator, your server staff. Make sure they're actual staff and not wannabes. If you don't know what a wannabe is, see my other video I made earlier about, uh, oh heck, I don't forgot the name of it, but I got a little video I did uh, about wannabes. Make sure the actual staff. I mean, it's okay for other players to offer suggestions and offer help. I have nothing against it. I do it all the time. I offer help. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you. But if you have a question on exactly how the server is run and how to correctly compile your your consist check with a staff member or somebody who actually knows exactly how it's going on because you'll hear one thing from one person one thing from someone else one thing from one staff member and one thing from a player and it gets really confusing and i've had that happen here recently too being told oh go buy this we're going to put this and we're going to go buy no tanks behind the locomotives no refrigerator cars with the with the reefer unit and motor next to a tank car and then we have somebody else come in and say damn just play it however you want you know and it gets really confusing because nobody's on the same page so get with your staff get with somebody get with those who are on the same page now if you're doing it by yourself <laughs> go have fun if you're on a server that it really don't care don't really matter hey great um where is my remote oh it's way over there hold on a second here oh shoot so, um, do, 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 do. okay, it's forwarding, good. So, yeah, that's my suggestion. Again, nothing wrong with helping each other, but, uh, so I got five box cars here, okay, and I'm going to place them down, and I'm just going to pick a track, boom, click one time, hit escape. Now, let me redo this again, okay, so I can show you again. I've added them in here. Now, let's say you put something in you don't want. You didn't mean to. What the heck's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Let's say you put some in and you didn't mean to. You can either do s delete selected or you can do a bunch by highlighting one, holding down the uh, shift button, the left shift, and click on the next one to get rid of everything in between and delete okay um so we got our five box cars here i'm going to do a random reverse i don't like them that many together that wow there we go okay two of them are fine and i'll do a left click on place train and boom pop it down now you'll see you can you can pop down as many of these as you want to just hit escape when you're done 
and that's and that places it now let's click here left click on there go to tagger now you'll see um, now the next thing you need to know is you need to know are these things supposed to be full or empty now you can drag these sliders manually um, or you can uh, click on full or random or empty you can also do all of them at once by clicking on one Usually, if you just bring it up, that this one's going to be highlighted. It's not going to let you do all of them. You have to go to a different one or a bottom one. I do. Left shift and click that. And now you can do random. You can do full, empty, or you can drag it yourself, however you want to do it. In my case, these need to be empties. So, next thing I need to do is find out what my tag is going to be for this car. Because remember, tags, uh, industries, work with the cars according to the tags and if they're not tagged correctly they're not going to work correctly so in this case I'm working with the A772 so I'm going to say A772 space and in this case it's going to be AGM for AGM packaging so I'm going to go AGM I mean AJM and hit enter now you notice it wrote it all as one here. Where's my mouse? My eyes. It wrote everything down as one because I had them all highlighted. Okay, hit escape. Now, before we do anything else, come back in by hitting your uh, left control F1, click clear. Okay, and we got clear over here. Um, now, I'm, since I've already got this highlighted, this is my train, I'm going to get back in and I'm going to say copy player train. And there it is. Now, I'm going to show you also about stored units. You can do copy player train over here as well. Okay. Now, the only difference is it don't have the 1 through 5. It just has everything else. So, I'm going to do a clear over here because this is where I want it at. Then, I'm going to come back in here and delete that. Left control F1. Available units. I'm going to go on to my next one. Now, my next one are three sections for international paper. Each one consists of eight cars. So, I need eight more box cars. Uh, you can select a bunch like this here and just drag it over. If you got too many, delete that selected. And in this case, because they're all the box cars, I don't want them in alphabetical order. I'm going to do a random reorder. And then just click uh, random reverse so I don't have so many of them reversed. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to need is covered hoppers. So right here, covered hoppers. I need eight of those. Um, now because I already had these up here, I don't want to do the random reorder or it's going to mix the uh, uh, box cards and the con uh, covered hoppers up and they may go to different tracks and you're going to find yourself having to sort it out in a lot of back and forward. So, let's so just grab uh, some of these that you see a lot. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So, what we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, another thing you can do is right click on these. If you right click, you can manually select which one you want to be in reverse or forward. Right clicking on uh, again sets it back to forward. Okay. So, again, you can right click on these to change the direction okay so the last one I need now are tank cars okay and I'm gonna go with some some gat techs and you just kinda wanna mix it up a little bit you can throw them up in the middle wherever that green line is at that's where it's going to go that's four I need eight uh, just get a couple of these here black and white That's six let me do a couple of these here and another Utilix. Now, let's try something. Let's see what happens. If I highlight this and I highlight this, will it just strictly reverse those? Nope, it does not. It does everything. So, you can see where I had it highlighted. That does not work. So, you cannot highlight a certain area, but you can, again, go in and manually change them one by one. Now I've got all eight of those, 8, 16, 24, the count is right, I'm going to go ahead and place train, and hit escape, left click on it, you see the tag shows none, again none, hit the tagger button. Now, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, because if you try to go from here to the bottom, it's not going to take like I'm doing right now. 
So I'll left click one time and I'll go to the top. Now it'll take all of them. For some reason, if you, that first one's highlighted, it won't do it. I want to come over to the side and I'm going to put my tag on there. So I know it's A uh, 772. And these are all international papers. So I'm going to go I N P and hit enter. Now, some of these are going to be empties and some are going to be loaded. So I'm going to look for the covered hoppers, which are these right here. And again, I'm going to make these as full. Now here, you can do full, empty, random, and this will work within the highlighted area. Okay. I'm going to put them as full. Um, up here, it gives you pretty much how many loads, weight, length, empties. We don't show any HPTs because we don't have any locomotives on there. Industry tags, if you turn that on, yeah, see, don't leave that to off because that's a whole different ball game. Okay, leave that off. And now, because I have those, these here, whoops, these are now different than what I have in my train, in my, I have stored. I want to clear. Okay, I've already got that. And now I'm going to recopy player train. Now this is the update. This now will match this. So if I was to say, hey, place this train right here. You see the tags are there. If I, oh, oops, I forgot. I got to release, relinquish. And now I click on this one and I look. See, everything is there. I got my full covered hoppers, etc. Okay. So I want to relinquish. Oops, I want to delete that one. I, I don't want to. I'm going to grab this one back. So now I have that plane, or uh, that train. Left click, drag down, and left click again. Okay, and I could do this two different ways. And I'm going to drag this. You can drag this over to here to add to it, then come back and clear, and you can go back to available units and continue building your train. In our case, we are done with this particular train. Oh, before I forget, come here and delete it, get it off the tracks. Okay, so we are now done with this particular train. Okay, so I could have just said grab them and brought them over to the top. But I wanted to show how to add. So if I was going to be adding more, I would go to whatever cars I needed next or engines. And I would, and I would continue to build and drag that over. In my case, uh, sword units, we are done. Now here's where you want to be real careful because if you move too fast, you can your your some of your cards can get out of order. You'll find your ink cards in the front and so on. So you want to be real careful and go slow. Take it, give it a second. Left click, there you go. I mean left shift, left click. Wait a second, come up. Now we're going to left click, hold and drag. And drop and let the mouse sit there don't move it because you move the mouse as soon as you drop this car right here may end up down here this car may end up it probably end up getting confused and I've seen that happen so and I said probably sorry now we're going to place these on the track now if I go here and I look there's my entire local for this particular one it's not very long it's only 21 29 cars going back to F1 you can look right here on the side rail units you got 29 cars 29 total what your length is if it was all empty with the empty weight of the cars themselves and if it's all fully loaded with the full loaded status now anything that's maybe a mixture in our case it's not showing HPT is dealing with how many locals you have on there so let's say we want to add a local I can go ahead and clear this now oh wait I need to uh, undo that. I'm going to copy player train. I'm going to clear this. And uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm actually going to attach the locomotives at this in this case. So available units, freight locals, and since this is a CSX side, uh, and this is a local 42. Eh, yeah, it's only CSX uh, that I have for over here. That's not a. Uh, whatchamacallit, here's an O2, I'm going to throw that under, showing gray so it shows I don't have the, uh, the, uh, what you call it, texture for it, um, I'll throw that one under, again, right click to reverse it, right click to make it back forward, right click, okay, now I have my engines, 
and again it's going to show zero HPT because now you don't have any cars on there but you got three locomotives and the reason I'm using these is because it is a local so again carefully grab and drag and wait there they are now you'll see your HPT has changed to 2.2 .2. on a loaded 8.8 .8 on an empty the weight and the length is calculated along with uh, uh, the the locomotives now we will place this train and you can move around here and remember you're always going to be looking at your locomotive and again hit escape to finalize so you don't place out more than now I did not do the none but we're going to do that right now so this here I know is the a772 that's all I have to write on here the A772. This is the name of the local. Okay. The rest of these here on the end have to do with the industries for each car. And there it is. Um, refueling. Hey, you must stop at the next servicing area. Uh, that varies, I guess, according to I have high seniority set up. So there we go. That is your first consist. That is. And then go down here to the end. It's a short one drop to the ground and I'm going to left click right here end of train and boom it's hooked up now my EOT is there um, end of train again I can hit uh, control F12 put me at the front now one of the really good things about this right clicking uh, being able to change your locomotive direction is especially at the end um, like right here I have it one facing the opposite way into the trains because AIs can only go the direction of the short nose of the locomotive in other words it cannot go long hood forward so if this train engine had been reversed and the long hood had been going that way it uh, AI will not drive it it will do short hood forward only now everybody plays a little differently one of the things that I do I cannot explain why it does it or how it does it or what causes it to happen but on occasion it will happen and I've seen it happen and so just by default I come in like this one here okay let's look at the direction you see the long hood is facing in this direction right okay the same thing with this second locomotive it is facing in that direction but you notice on this one it's facing in the rear direction okay so what do we got here well if we look at here we got DPU forward here we have slave with DPU forward and here we have slave with DPU forward what I like to do is click one time on here change that forward to reverse because uh, and then put that back to slave what it's telling the, the computer on board is that the short hood is facing in the opposite direction that the front one or the lead unit is facing uh, I cannot I have not been able to actually replicate what causes uh, the errors. sometimes I have seen the errors uh, it wasn't my train but I got called over and I discovered that and it's happened uh, probably three times it's not very it's very rare but it has happened so just out of default this is what I do you do what you want some people say it doesn't make a difference um, just like oh, you'd be going down and all of a sudden boom you got no air pressure this is at uh, nothing you know zero zilch nada there's nothing there you got zero and it was fine you don't know what happened but all of a sudden you got zero air pressure and you had and that's there was showing as zero psi so it does happen I've seen that happen too again what caused it I can't say cuz I don't know but uh, another thing I want to point out real quickly is make sure your short hood lead is set to short hood lead by clicking on it so that when you come over here you press H your top headlight comes on that's your regular and then your main driving headlights will come on shift H to turn that low out uh, the high beam off and the regular now the same thing can be said for the rear of the train or I sometimes do these in the middle. It doesn't matter if it's slave or, or lead or not. This one I put the short hood trail. Okay. Uh, now watch this. It's under the J key. Well, it's not doing it. 
short hood trail okay for some reason it's not doing it but normally you would hit the J key maybe this is particular engine you would hit the J key and it would turn on uh, the light for that one uh, so I don't know why this one's not doing it but that's fine I will actually I could just do that real quick um, let's clear copy uh, let's clear available units let's just grab some I know the SD 40s would do it let's just grab some here we'll just drag it over and I want to click that one click that one I got that let's place train real quick boom throw that down and hit escape I want to grab this for whoops F1 relinquish now I know the EC 4400s and this one would do that so there's the lead HH now my headlights are on right and uh, let's get down here to the rear um, this is the rear of the train and I'm going to set this up to trail and now JJ it's not doing it maybe because the engine's not started oh let's start the engine to see because I know that these do do that uh, let's try this one here in the middle no because that's going to be in the middle all right let's see here I'm not sure what's going on. I, I used to do this all the time. J, short hood trail, J, J, and it's not working. Alrighty. Well, disregard. I'll do another video on that when I find out what I'm doing wrong. Um, so disregard that for now. There's obviously something that I'm doing wrong here, but uh, you can, in most cases, turn on a rear locomotive. What did I have there? Ah, uh, let's try, try 4400, just to throw that down there, throw that in reverse. You know, I know it works, that's why I got to see, I, I mean, I know this works. Okay, so that short hood lead, I want to go uh, uh, control F12 to the rear, this one here, short hood trail, boom, JJ. What in the world? Let's just do start all automatic circuit breakers. Yeah, just start everything. Let's see if that has anything to do with it. Because I know these work. So unless it's something within the program of the A line, I don't know. Yeah, okay, those lights are on. Let's go to the rear of the train. Why are these not working? Oh, there we go. Okay, now they're on. So I guess you had to have the engine on and running. So, I knew it worked. <laughs> I knew what I was talking about. Okay, here you go. So, by having a rear set to short hood rear tail uh, trail, or if it's reversed and you have a long hood, you would go to long hood trail. Uh, it works either way. Same thing with long hood lead. And J... There's that one. J again will turn on the brights. So that, and shift J turns them off. So you can have, just like they do in real life, uh, you'll see a, a train going by and in the, in the rear they may have a locomotive and they'll have those lights on right there and that's it. And the front is the ones with the brights. Alright, I knew it was there. I knew it. It's like, man, come on. All right, F1. Nope. I mean, uh, Control F1. Let's clear. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, how to set up your locomotives, how to set up a a local, and how to create cars. Uh, you can leave it at none if you're sending just eye, what we call eye candy uh, across the uh, the server. You know, to various aspects. Uh, see, that's way across where I'm at now. Um, whatever but if you want the industry to work it has to have the correct tag so if I grab this and then I go left control L right now I don't have anything to pick up nothing to set out um, that's odd because I should have everything to set out because I don't have anything set up uh, I'm gonna have to look into that one hmm now I'm wondering now I'm wondering what's going on because that should have showed as Let's get it started and see if that has anything to do with it. Uh, 
A772. I'm still learning about the way cross and the A line, so um as far as I know I have that right. I may redo this video over on SoCal side because that should show me everything that I have on my train needs to be set out. Alrighty, I'm going to have to figure out. Let's see. Alright, 